Hello YouTube, welcome to this video. I've got a few things I need to get sorted out, a few jobs that I need to finish off. Uh, so in this video I thought I would tackle a lot of those. So I've got the MQTT uh, light strips that I started playing with in the previous video. Uh, I need to get that finished. Um, one of the batteries needs a bit of work um, and uh, I need to rotate one of the uh, solar panels that starts catching shade at this time of year. So let's get into all of that. So I noticed that um, when the pack got quite low again, still these two on the very end here are dropping more quickly than the rest of them. And to a slightly less extent, these two on this end as well. And you can see I've already tried to bolster these up by putting uh, a couple of extra cells in there but obviously at the moment that's still not enough so um, I'm going to put a couple of extra cells in there as well again now to um, see if I can increase it a bit more but just before I do that I just double check that uh, none of the fuses have blown in these little cell holders in the places where I'm going to put my cells so as long as this reads the voltage of the pack yeah, 3 3.72 3.72 3.72 3.72 3.7 let's stick it in this bottom one 3.7 and that should be 3.72 yes okay so those are all fuse wires are still connected on those ones so it should be okay to put the cells in um, now I've already match the cells voltage to to these so I can just pop them straight in making sure to get positive and negative the right way around of course otherwise uh, it will blow the fuses so I'll stick that one in there and that one in there okay um, positive this side and that one in there. Okay. Now the ones I'm putting in this side are much uh, got a much higher capacity than the ones on that side because this side seems to go lower. So I'll bolster this one up a bit more. Is that the one I me just measured the slot for? I think so. There we go. So uh, we'll see how, uh, what kind of an effect that has next time the pack gets quite low. Um, let's have a look at the batteries. So, yeah, this is all uh, nicely in line. They're all pretty balanced. This one's a bit uh, a bit more unbalanced. Uh, needs to get a nice uh, charge all the way to the top to uh, uh, so the balancers can start uh, bringing these in line. But uh, I'm not too concerned about it. There's um, it's not that much of a difference, really. And this one, again, is a slightly low one here, but, but nothing major. That's all good. So I was going to uh, build some kind of splitter using these little uh, uh, barrel connectors. 
uh, for this power supply so that I could power both of these uh, Tasmota uh, LED strip controllers from the same power supply but in the end I thought um, it might be asking a bit much of this power supply because it used to get pretty hot when it was running both strips anyway uh, and now it's got to power the two little microcontrollers as well so maybe it'd be better to find uh, another 12 volt power supply instead so I had to rummage around through my box of old bits and uh, I found myself another 12 volt supply which hopefully still works uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use this one to uh, connect up the second connector and then uh, I need to write a bit of code to uh, make them act as one by uh, um, any commands that I send for the one get relayed to the other one so uh, let me power this on and uh, and then we'll see what we can do next shut that off a minute I've got a, a double plug adapter as well so that they'll both be powered from the same socket otherwise I'm going to use up all the sockets in my shed um, I guess I can add some more for now this will do really got to tidy all this stuff up and then what I'll do as well is Put that one in that side. Well, they both came on, so I guess that means it works. Doesn't look good. Hmm. Well, I hope I didn't just blow that one. Let's turn on the computer and see what we can see. Well, I think the cable must have just been a bit loose or something because I fiddled around with it, tried the other one in there and it was working so then I put that one back in and then suddenly it's uh, it's all lit up so I think that's okay so I just need to register this one on the network um, like the other one Okay, and then we want to connect to, oh, that one, okay, uh, I'm hoping that the fact that it's gone green means that it's uh, it's worked. Let's boot on the computer and see uh, see if we can find it. There we go. So if I toggle that, yeah, it went off. So that is it. Okay. So we need to configure this one. Uh, configure MQTT. Host is. Motor Shed 2. Actually, I could just call it Task Motor Shed, can't I? No, we we'll call it 1 and 2 because then it'll be. Um, then I can address them individually. So we want it to be uh, topic. Uh, 
it's this one, isn't it? The password is So now all I have to do is, uh, yeah, uh, create a little um, MQTT service to uh, switch them on when, well, for now, let's say when, um, just when the batteries get really low, let's make them switch on red. So this time of year, um, uh, the fence here starts to cast a shadow on this panel at the bottom which drops the output quite a lot so what I do is I take it from a vertical orientation there and I turn it sideways uh, and clamp it on and then that way the shadows only reach to about here and so they don't hit it then. See I've, I've got some other rails already mounted behind the panel and it's these ones that I use to clamp the panel onto when I turn it sideways. So we're going to do that now, uh, and that's just a job I usually do around the time the clocks change, because that's about when the shadows start to hit the bottom of the panel. Yeah, I've noticed there's a nice bird poo on my panel, so let's see if I can get that off. It all helps. That's better. There's another one there, but I'm not sure I can reach that one. I think I'll have to just leave it. Okay, that's it for this video. Hope you found that interesting. Um, in the next video is probably going to be my um, uh, monthly stats. The video after that, I'm thinking about um, putting together some stuff about other places on my house that I could potentially add more solar. So uh, if you'd be interested in that, um, yep. Yeah, do please like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Cheers.